we do travel with the dishwasher. You're looking at her. Her, her <laughs> mom jokes need some work. I know, not that funny. I'm here all day though. What's going on guys? Welcome back to our show, Destination Delicious. We're happy that you are here with us. My name is Spencer. And I'm Christy. And our time in Austin is sadly, but finally coming to an end. We've been hanging out here a little bit longer because our next destination is Santa Fe and they got hit with a wild winter storm. So we've been trying to hang out in the, the warmth a little bit longer, yeah. but it is time to adventure on. We actually visited Santa Fe last year while we were staying in Albuquerque and really fell in love with the city the few hours that we were spending there and we actually did a cook outside of the city. Right, we did we the sausage did. potato bowls. So at that point, we decided that we definitely had to come back and spend more time there. So we're on our way there. We're excited to get there, but today we've got one more cook here in Texas. And we are gonna be making buffalo chicken meatballs. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. So for something a little bit different because we like variety, we are gonna do a fun take on meatballs with chicken meatballs. So we have some ground chicken here. We've got two pounds. We're gonna add our eggs. And then about a cup of breadcrumbs. This is pretty easy. It's kind of a mix everything in all together. All goes in one bowl. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get much easier than that. Salt, pepper, little bit of garlic powder and some blue cheese crumbles. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue cheese and then once I start mixing this all together, I can always add a little bit more if I think it needs it. All right, now here comes the fun part. We are gonna mix this all in and I'm just gonna use my hands to do it. This is actually a perfect job for Cade, but he is running around the campground with his friends. So he was thinking he was just gonna pop in at the end and eat, enjoy all of the fruits of our labor making these chicken meatballs for him. How's that feel? Feels good. <laughs> all right, you can see this is all sticking together pretty well, which is great because that's what we want when we make our meatballs. So we'll just add a little bit more blue cheese and I'll have my wonderful- Lovely assistant. Yes. And just a tinge. There we go. All right, so once we mix this in, it is time to start building our meatballs. All right, now it's my turn. I'm gonna get some olive oil on the griddle and then our meatballs are going down. We've got the griddle set to medium heat, so we wanna make sure that these cook relatively slow uh, to make sure that that chicken gets cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna move them around frequently to make sure we're getting them cooked on all sides. Cooking meatballs on a griddle takes a little extra time and attention than it does when you cook them the traditional way, baking them in the oven. But as you move them around and begin to see that golden crust starting to form on them, you know that they are going to be so, so good. All right, the time has come to get our meatballs off. They are looking super good. So I'm excited. We've got some cheese oozing out the side of some of them. It looks so tasty. got a little mama's girl over here who wants to be held. Then we had a minor blowout situation. Wardrobe situation. So, how to fix that. All right, we're almost ready. Next up, we are gonna get our buffalo sauce in a bowl for dipping. And you can go about this two ways. You can put it right on the meatballs and just have them ready to go, or you can dip. Blue cheese chicken meatballs. All right. These are super easy. <laughs> Buffalo chicken meatballs. Oh yeah. <laughs> they do have blue well, cheese in them. they do have blue cheese in them. I know you can, buffalo here. and that's what I love. Like you can see the blue cheese kind of oozing out. Yep. I love cheese, any kind of cheese, pretty much. All right, going in for the dip. A little spiral like. Into, into the sauce. Yeah. All right, all in. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Got a nice little crispy edge on it. Mm, that is so good. You cook those really well. Mm -hmm. and like I said, this is such an easy, this is like one of the easiest ones we made. Yeah. Right. But you do have to have a little bit of patience because these do take a little bit longer to cook because you want to yeah. make sure you don't burn them. And got to move them and around a lot, like exactly. I said before. They taste mm -hmm. fantastic. The blue cheese and the buffalo sauce just really. It's like a wing ball. <laughs> Chicken <laughs> wing ball. <laughs> We're retitling this one. Chicken <laughs> wing balls. It could be a bunch of different things. Well, we thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. 
And um, ring that bell. Yeah. Tune in for next time. <laughs> <laughs> really, make sure that you don't miss any of the shows from any of the great cooks like. Ooh, but me. Oh! Nate, <laughs> CJ, Todd, Betty, Matt, Bruce, and of course us. Okay, <laughs> <Great> Joe. <job. laughs> Check out blackstoneproducts.com for all things Blackstone. And until next time, guys, this is Destination Delicious, and we will see you down the road.